Hi everyone, it's Sarah from Plan Sarah Plan, and I'm downstairs in the planner castle because today is planner move-in day. Since July 1st of last year, 2021, I've been in this Erin Condren Mid-Century Circles binder format. It was hourly, weekly planner. I'm moving to the exact same interior, except it's going to be a coiled version. The weekly binder is no longer an option from Erin Condren, only a daily binder. So I really love the hourly, weekly layout to get my overview of the week just visually before me. So today we're going to be moving out of this planner and into this planner. Okay, step one for moving into a new planner really stresses a lot of people out because they're self-conscious about their handwriting, but you've got to put your name in your planner. This is your planner. It's your life that will be celebrated, and so own it with your name. Now, if you are just too uptight to go ahead and write your name because the planner is so perfect, you don't want to ruin it, then practice on a scrap piece of paper until you feel like you're warmed up. Practice your handwriting slowly, and then just go ahead and write it. Or you can actually order a sticker. There are certain Etsy shops that will make a sticker of your name if you've just got it to have it beautiful and if it just makes you too stressed out to write it. But go ahead and own this planner. Although I've got a colorful harmony theme on the outside of my planner, I have a neutral harmony theme on the inside. That's because I like to decorate a lot with sticker kits. So I chose neutral for the inside. All right, the next thing I'm going to do is map out what dates I already know about. Things like piano start dates for the semesters, the recital dates, I'm a piano teacher. Also paydays, birthdays, stuff like that. So for this, you could either use one of the Zig Clean Color Dot markers, which just make a nice, perfect dot, kind of like a highlighter, but shaped in a perfect circle. You could use one of the new Erin Condren list markers that has a circle on one side to circle dates. You could just circle it with a pen. You could use a little stencil if you want it to be perfect. You could use transparent date dots. That's my favorite thing to do. So I'm going to use transparent date dots. And first of all, mark out piano dates. I keep my transparent dots in one of these Erin Condren sticker storage books that are unfortunately no longer available. And I have a variety of types that I've collected over the years. I think this is maybe one I'm going to use a lot today because I like how pale the color is on these dots. This, I believe, was in a sticker subscription um, mail out, the Erin Condren sticker subscription. These are Planner Kate date dots that were freebies. This is kind of washy, so it's not like plasticky, it's thin paper. And they appear to be kind of color blends from Erin Condren. And then I have a bunch of these that I've used a lot of, and I think I even have more somewhere, um, but they come in all sorts of colors. This one is, see how dark this is? That's kind of what this one is, except I believe these are lighter, which I like because you can actually hold it up to the dates and see through what the dates are, um, and the backing is clear, so it's easy to see how dark they're going to be. That's handy. Because this was on a white backing, you couldn't really see unless you took off one of these and placed it on. So I don't know if I'm going to use that one or not, but I have pink here and another colorful one like this one. Um, slightly different though. So anyway, let's just get all these out because I'm going to use a different color for different categories of events. Love these metallic ones. This this is one of my favorites because it just circles the date instead of covering it. So I love that. We have plenty. Now I will say that one of the great things about a coil planner is that you can fold it back on itself. Granted, I could take the pages out in my binder, which also made it convenient, but since I can't take the pages out, this is the next best thing. It just kind of makes it easier to work with. And I've decided to go with this bright yellow. There are two rows, and I think that'll be enough for piano. So let's go into time lapse while I place these dates. <music> Now, 
now that all of my Piano Studio dates are in, I'm going to choose a similar color, probably orange or something. Um, yeah, I'm thinking peach or orange to mark my Music Teachers Association dates in the same way. And right there at the end, I ran out of the yellow dots, so I just made some using a yellow clean color dot marker. These are available on Amazon, Zig Clean Color Dot. You can also get like off brands. Um, I also have a set called Nye Art and it's a lot cheaper. It's not quite the quality, but it's definitely a decent set. But I made yellow dots when I ran out of stickers and then surrounded those with just clear stickers and a silver ring around them to match the ones I was using already. Okay, so we'll go back into time lapse. This won't be as many dates, but my music teachers, meetings, and workshops and events. So now all of my piano related things are marked, and I'm going to go next to paydays, which I think green would be the perfect color. So I have a few shades of green. I'll do my husband's in one shade and mine in a different shade. paydays are done and you can see sometimes a bunch of stickers pile up on one date and I just kind of stagger them around and I will put a key to what all these colors are down in the margin at the end of placing all the stickers and I think the last thing I'm going to place now is family birthdays and for that I'm going to use this lavender and then we're going to add the key This step is finished and even though it took a little bit of time to research all of the dates and to plot out things that I had to schedule myself, it's worth it because it's done now for the entire year. And I've put one of these little mini snap-in bookmarks here. This is an Erin Condren item. They come in several designs. This one's Harmony Colorful. I don't plan to take it in and out. I'm just going to leave it here. I don't need this tab now that I have that. And this way I can easily go to my annual view and, you know, see what's coming up and plan my budget and plan events and things like that. All right, so the next thing is going to be the 12 box spread. Now this one has always perplexed me, just like the dashboard page used to per uh, perplex me. I have used it for all different things. Most people, I would say, use each of these 12 boxes to represent one month out of the year. So they might go January, February, March, April. They might do January, February, March, April, May, June, however it works for them, or they might even start with July. So what I've decided to do this year, last year I used it for favorites, and I did have a month on each box. I'll show you what it look, looked like. Last year, I used it for favorites, so just whatever I was into and enjoying for a particular month. This year, I'm going to do something totally different. We have our first grandchild due in July. The due date is somewhere in like the third week of July. So what I've decided to do is to make this all about our grandbaby, and we're going to either list things that are, you know, developmentally happening in the baby's life or maybe and or put a picture of the baby. I'm kind of leaning toward putting a picture and let's just check out this. I have an HP sprocket 
And let me see if I can do this without opening up a new pack of paper. So this is like called a deluxe or an ultra or something like that. It's a larger size print. It's sticker paper. And I could just about make this work if I cut it down. So I might just plan to put headers of the month of the year starting with July because baby will be born in July and maybe put a picture using my HP sprocket. I might even be able to put two pictures per page and we'll see how that goes. But I'm going to go ahead and decorate this with a baby theme. I have some Erin Condren Petite Planner Baby Tracker stickers. I have not seen the Petite Baby Planner on the website in quite some time. I don't think it exists anymore. And I got these stickers, I think, during a warehouse sale. So I'm not sure how long these are going to be around. But baby stickers can be made or purchased. Like with on Etsy, you can, I'm sure, get some baby stickers. But what I want to do now is go into time lapse and just decorate this to look like baby. page is done and I, you know I went overboard and I just can't help it I'm so excited and it is what it is I love all the glitter I love all the color and I've got baby's first year spelled out with gold metallic washi sticker letters and then I got my headers for the months from the edition seven monthly sticker book from Erin Condren and the glitter washi that's skinny, I have gold, purple, pink, and blue, is from the washi tape shop. So, and, and I already said that the baby stickers are from Erin Condren. So I'm ready, right? I'm ready. And then I can add more of the little baby icons and things after I decide exactly what I'm going to put in these boxes. So if it's picture, I don't want to go ahead and put the sticker down now. I want to just kind of wait and maybe pop a little embellishment sticker on top of it, but we'll see. I just know this will have to do with baby's first year. All right, and then we get into the month of July, which is going to be a whole separate video. I'm going to do a July setup plan with me, and then what do we have in the back? Notes pages. All right, so this is going to be pretty quick and simple. In my notes pages, I'm going to have one for auto maintenance, I'm going to have one for home maintenance, and one for like family milestones. And I think that I have enough notes pages for that. So there's one, two, three, and then I did a pen test. Yes, that's plenty. So I'm really just going to flip this notes tab. I could even use this for something, and I will if I need to. Um, but right now, I'm just going to start here with auto maintenance. it. All I'm going to do is set up my notes pages and let me zoom out a little. 
set up my notes pages, those dates at the beginning, and the 12 box spread. I have the back side of these if I want to add another notes page in the back. But um, I think this is really all I need. And so let's just recap what we did today. Put our name in the planner. That was step one. Mark out dates that we know of for the coming year and make a little key. You can do this with transparent date dots like I did, or you could use like just a highlighter or colored pens, anything you want to. And then decide what you want to use your 12 box spread for. This does not have to be the same every year. So if you don't like what you did last year, do something else. You also don't have to go all the way across like I did. You could go July, August, September, October, November, December, or you could go down in columns like you could have a quarter set up, which might be neat if you have this set aside for anything financial, like July, August, September, that would be the third quarter of the year, etc. And then not going to set up July until I do my July setup plan with me. And then my three notes pages, which are car maintenance, just, you know, a log of what we do, home maintenance, and family news. And that's it. So I thank you guys for joining me. I'm really excited to do my first plan with me in this planner. It's kind of different to be using a coil instead of the binder for sure. But I've, you know, I talked about this when I shared which planner I will be moving into when they discontinued the weekly binder. The fact that I got a vegan leather cover gives me that same substantial permanent feeling that the binder gave me. So that's helping me transition. I do love interchangeable covers though. So maybe next year I'll do that, but I love the vegan leather cover also. So, um, and I would have done the years instead of my initials. I would have done um, like 2022, 20, 23, but there are not enough characters available. I think you can do four. So if you're on the calendar year, you could actually put like 2023 on it um, if you want to. So anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for joining me and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>